So hi kids. Well, we're back at home training again. But no worries, there's still things that we can work on. Now, you might remember last week, if you've been in class, we did that position called upside down turtle. That's just the name we call it. It's, um, it's really called uh, open guard with frames. But upside down turtle, we like to remember it that way, that's fine. So remember, when we're in the upside down turtle, our knees wanna come all the way in, and we wanna have our elbows all the way in. So if you can practice this at home with your mom or dad or brother or sister, what you gotta do in your upside down turtle position, let your, whoever you're training with, lay across you like this. They can put all their weight on you, it's no problem here. You can take all their weight, this upside down turtle, or, using your frames, the frames of your body, okay? So we've got that part. There's two little things we've got to try and remember today, is the upside down turtle, and then sitting in this position like this. Mason can follow on as well, so you sit like me too, Mace. We're here, and we've got to be able to move our bodies to the side. So you can follow on with the video. You turn to one side, follow me, Mace. Okay, that way, yeah. And then go back to the middle, and then turn to the other side, yeah? And this is you practicing your open guard. Move back to the middle, other side, and then back to the middle. So this is our open guard position, learning to move our body when we're seated on the ground. But what we can do now, if you've got a training partner, someone to train with, you can treat it as like a little game and have some fun with it. So when one sitting down like this and your, your brother or sister, mum or dad can stand up. And the game is, if I'm sitting like this, like we practice, if they step to the side, you follow. Step that way, you follow. They can go, they can try and trick you and go side to side, but you've always got to follow them. So your nose is pointing right at them. But the other part of the game is if Mason walks around to the side and it's too late, I'm going to catch him, go in the upside down turtle. And then I push him back and we go again. So you go side, you follow. Follow, they go, oh, oh, catch. What we can't let happen, so for, for Mason to win the game, is his chest touches my chest. So if Mason runs to the side and I'm too slow, oh no. Mason just got on that position called side control. He's passed my open guard. And in the sport of Jiu Jitsu, you'll actually get three points for that. And we're not allowed to let that happen. So this is what we're practicing. I want you to do this all week at home until we're back allowed on the mats out of lockdown. So we, uh, whoever you got to train with, they step, you follow. They might even go all the way around. You follow, 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 follow. Goes back, as soon as they get to the side, oh, catch, quick. Don't let them on your chest, push them away. Go again, follow, follow. They go to the jump on top, catch, push them away, and go again. That's what we're gonna do. So we're practicing our body movement this way and our upside down turtle, the frames. And that's something you can practice, you know, many times over. You wanna get good at this game. Have a go at being on top and on the bottom. And uh, before you know it guys, we'll be back on the mats in training and having a good time. But until then, watch this video, practice several times, or even scroll down to some of the older videos if you like, and do some of the other uh, techniques we practice in them. I'll see you soon kids.